Hi students, this is Mrs. McNulty from the Writing Center. Welcome to our brief tutorial on how to set up your Microsoft Word document in MLA format, specifically focusing on that pesky little page number that goes at the top right. So a lot of times students are very tempted to simply put their last name and the page number at the top and they'll either move it to the right using justification or they'll hit tab. And then they'll try to do this every page. But here's the issue with that. Notice that we have all this space up here in the margins, and it's really supposed to go way up here in the top right. Also, when you edit your work, that starts to move the numbers down, so it gets a little screwed up. So here is the best way to do this. From Microsoft Word, double click at the very top of the document, and you'll see you'll get the header and footer menu. Click on header and footer and go all the way to the left where it says page number. Select page number and you'll see a lot of different options that you're welcome to use if you're using different formatting in other pieces of work. But for MLA, going to the top of the page and then selecting the one on the right. So that's page number, top of page, plain number three. Select it and there you go. Your page number will now automatically go on every single page. You don't have to worry about one, two, three, and so forth. You simply then just put your last name properly capitalized in one space. Now, even if you have the rest of your document in the proper font and font size, which is Times New Roman size 12, you'll notice that a lot of times the font changes and it defaults back to Calibri. So regardless of what the rest of your document is, you must highlight and then fix your font. And there you go. Now your header, as far as what you put at the top left of your page, does go in the document. So you want to click onto the main body. You do not want it up here. As always, it will go your name, your professor's name, your class. And here's the thing, the date gets a little tricky. So the date that I'm making this is March 3rd, 2021. So I put the day first, capitalize my month properly, and then the year. It's a good idea to make sure that your date is the day that you upload or that you submit your last draft. Make sure it's not always stuck on when you first started the essay. You're not fooling your professor by making it look like you've been working on it longer. It really should be the last draft. Then as always, you wanna make sure this is in your right font, Times New Roman, 12. Double space, go to this little paragraph icon under Right here under spacing, make sure there's no extra spacing. Put it in double and you are done, my friend. You hit enter, you center your title with proper capitalization. Nothing fancy, no bold, no italics, no different font, just straight up title. You hit enter, you go all the way to the left and you begin your document. Now you are more than welcome to end your tutorial here or you can stay tuned and I can show you a quicker way to do all of this. If you go to file and you start to open up a new document, go to new and go under templates and select double space. You'll see classic double space, please click it. Go to create and now your font, your size, your spacing, still might have to do that little extra one here. It's all set up for you. So that's one less thing to worry about. And then you do your page number, your heading, your title as you would normally. So at the end, it should look like this. I hope that that was helpful. Please stick around and view our other videos. And as always, go see the Writing Center if you need a little help.